Looks good. Um, okay, calculate the uh, pH. of a 0 0.2 molar solution of KCN. Um, okay, and um, just to, for this question as well, or do you expand on it? Um, we're also going to use the Ka for HCN is equal to uh, 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10. Okay, so KCN is a salt, and so we're going to assume that 100% dissociates into K plus plus CN minus. Okay, now um, the cyanide ion is a base, so it reacts with water to give us um, HCN, which is our acid, plus OH minus. Now, um, given the Ka for HCN, we can get the Kb because the relation uh, it, between Ka and Kb is Kw, where uh, ha given a Ka for an acid, Kb is the is the equilibrium for the base. Um, or put another way, um, K Ka would be um, concentration of uh, Cn minus. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that because I just realized that's not going to work. Okay. Um, yeah, so Ka is the acid equilibrium constant and Kb is the, is the uh, conjugate base constant. Oh, right, I see. I remember now. Um, so, yeah. So if we have our Ka for HCN, then Kb is then Kw over Ka. Kw uh, is 1 times 10 to the minus 14. Um, it's just a constant. So 1 times 10 to the minus 14 over <clears throat> our Ka, which is 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10. And so then this equals uh, 1.6129 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, so now uh, we can use our ice table to calculate our, our equilibrium. And so we have our initial concentration of, C, of CN minus, which we're assuming is, is the full concentration of HCN. And zero and zero. Our change is minus X plus X plus X. So our equilibrium is 0 0.2 minus X. I should say I'm only using minus. I'm, they're all one to one in the, in the chemical expression. So that's why it's just minus x plus x and plus x. If there was any numbers, any stoichiometric coefficients, then these would be multiplied by those relevant factors. But for this, it's, it's just like that. And so that means our Kb is equal to our HCN concentration, our OH minus concentration, over our CN minus concentration, all at equilibrium. These are our equilibrium values, so just X times X over 0 0.2 minus X. 
And then, um, as we've done many times before, to simplify things, uh, I'm going to assume that this is just 0.2, as x is going to be very small um, because our kb is also very small. Now putting in our values, we have uh, 1.6129 times 10 to the minus 5 is equal to x squared over 0 0.2. x squared is equal to um, <clears throat> 3.22, so just multiplying by 0.2 we get 3.2258 uh, times 10 to the minus 6, or x is equal to 1.796 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. And so looking at our ice table above, x <clears throat> is our OH minus concentration at equilibrium. Uh, for pH, we want our H3O plus concentration. So, um, recalling that our Kw factor comes from uh, this expression. Okay. Where Kw is equal to our OH minus concentration times our H3O plus concentration, which means with our OH minus concentration, we can calculate our H3O plus. So our H3O plus concentration is then just 1 times 10 to the minus 14, which is Kw over our OH minus concentration, which comes out to be 5.568 times 10 to the minus 12 molar. And so then our pH is the negative logarithm of this value. which is 11.25. So there's our pH for, for that solution. Okay, I'm um, going through here. Um, and uh, so in here, um, we, uh, they actually solve for the pOH and then we can just like here, how we're solving for H3O plus concentration, you can use this relation instead to solve for pH. Um, it's really the same, just, just a different direction. But that looks good, so the solution is correct. And um, I'm going to stop it there and say uh, that's all my questions for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the One Class channel. Uh, if you want to add questions, please follow the links below the video. And uh, this has been Jeff Krause for One Class, and I hope to uh, see you.